با درود مجدد خدمت شما دوستان عزیز دانشجویان محترم مستر تیچر محمد مخفی هستم مدرس این دوره و با دومین قسمت از درس 6 تا 63 در خدمتون هستم Unit 6 Lesson B Problems and Solutions uh, As you know every problem has a solution So we're going to talk about problems and their solutions And in the first part uh, there is a page of a website As you, uh, as you see, we have some posts and replies on the website. I need you to pause the video and do it on the book. Complete the expressions with the correct form of do or make. Right? Then we listen and we check if uh, we did it right. Sometimes I think I ought to do some volunteer work. Okay? Do volunteer work. Uh, but I'm too busy just trying to a living. So what is the verb for the living? Yes, make a living, right? Now uh, let's do it. Then we'll come back with the listening part. So you can listen and check about what you did. Page 56. Lesson B. Problems and Solutions. 1. Building Vocabulary and Grammar. A. Read the posts and replies on the website. Complete the expressions with the correct form of do or make. Then listen and check. Ask the Life Coach. Do you have a personal problem that you'd rather not discuss with friends or family? Get some confidential advice from our online life coach. Question 1. Sometimes I think I ought to do some volunteer work in a school or a hospital, but I'm too busy just trying to make a living. I have very little free time, so I think I'd better not add anything to my schedule right now. Am I right? Don't make excuses. You don't have to spend all your free time doing volunteer work. Three hours a week is enough. Do some research and find an organization where you feel you can make a difference and do some good for other people. Question 2. My boss is a bully. He yells at me if I make a mistake, and he makes fun of me in front of my co-workers. I've tried talking to him, but it doesn't do any good. He won't listen. I guess I'm going to have to do something about this problem. But what? It doesn't make any sense to ignore this problem, and you'd better do something quickly before it gets worse. Make an appointment with your human resources representative. You might want to take a colleague with you, too. Question 3. I'm meeting my girlfriend's parents for the first time next weekend. They've invited me for dinner. I'm going to do my best to make a good impression on them, but I'm really nervous. Any advice? Make an effort to dress nicely and make sure you take them a small gift, such as flowers or chocolates. Make some nice comments about their home, the food, etc., but don't overdo it. You ought to let them do the talking at first. The most important thing, however, is just to be yourself. Question 4. My boss recently offered me a promotion. I've done a lot of thinking about it, but I can't make up my mind if I should take it. Sometimes I think I'd rather stay in my current job. I've got to decide by next week. What should I do? Make a list of the pros and cons of each job and give each one a score from 1 to 5. 5 equals the best. Then do the math. Add up the points for each list and subtract the con totals from the pro totals. Which job has the highest score? Does that help you make a decision? All right, so let's check your answers. Sometimes I, th I think I ought to do some volunteer work in a school or a hospital, but I'm too busy just trying to make a living. Very good. You have to keep, in, uh, you know, keep these structures in mind uh, because we call them collocations or kind of like pairs. So you can use them uh, wherever you need. So make a living, do some, do work or something like this. Okay, the answer is, the, uh, the coach says, don't excuses or excuses, 
like make excuses, right? Don't make excuses. And uh, three hours a week is enough. Some research. Do some research. Very good. Do some research. Actually, because this is the beginning of the sentence, you have to use capital D. And find an organization where you feel you can a difference. Very good. Make a difference. And some good for other people. Do some good for other people. It means you can help people to make things better, right? Number two, my boss is a bully. He yells at me if I a mistake. So the verb for mistake is make a mistake. And he, fun of me, make fun of me, right? Make or, uh, sorry, he makes fun of me, right? He makes fun of me in front of my co-workers. I've tried talking to him, but it doesn't any good. It doesn't do any good. He, he, he didn't change, you know, his behavior. He won't listen. I guess I'm going to have to something about this problem to do something about this problem. It doesn't any sense, so you have to say it doesn't make any sense. Uh, means like things are weird here. You cannot match them. And uh, you'd better do something quickly before it gets uh, it gets worse an appointment so what is the verb for appointment make capital m make an appointment with your human resources uh representative and you might want to take a colleague with you too question three i'm going to my best to a good impression so I'm going to do my best to, very good, to make a good expression, uh, sorry, to make a good impression on them. But I'm really nervous in advice. What is the verb for an effort? Right, make an effort. Make an effort to, tr uh, to dress nicely, it means do your best. And again, sure, make sure. You take them. Uh, you take them small gifts such as flowers and chocolates. Some nice comments. So for for comment, we say make some nice comments about their home, their food, etc. But don't overdo it. Do not do it a lot. You ought to uh, let them the talking. Do the talking. Let them speak, not, not you. Let them do the talking. And question for my boss recently uh, offered me a promotion. I've a lot of thinking, so I've done. Because I have plus past participle, so I have done a lot of thinking about it and I can't my mind, up my mind, make up my mind. This is an expression, make up your mind. It means to decide, to, uh, to decide finally. A list of pros and cons, make a list of pros and cons, and uh, then do the math. Do the math in Farsi, we say hesap kyatakon, and make a decision. Make a decision. See? Not that hard. All right, let's go to part B. We need to make word webs like, uh, like these for do and make. Add other expressions you know. Then discuss the life coach's advice with a partner. Do you agree? We don't need about, you know, do you agree? And what advice can you add? Because we cannot make the speaking, you know, atmosphere here but uh, let's find some expressions with do some expressions with do for example do volunteer work volunteer work 
Uh, do the math. I love it. Do the math. And uh, for example, you say do the talking. Yeah, do the talking. For make, we say make a decision. Make a decision. And uh, make sense. Make sense. Sorry, sense. And uh, make fun of somebody. Make fun of somebody. And also makes uh, make a difference. Make a difference. We go to part C. Uh, we need to find expressions on the website with the same meaning as the underlined words below. For example, number one, I should do some volunteer work. I should. Can you find something, some expressions here, like in the, the, the website uh, about should? How can you say should? Very good. Number one is ought to. Yeah, it means should. I ought to do some volunteer work, right? Number two, really should. You really should do something quickly. Actually, let me write it here. I ought to do some. No volunteer. Volunteer. Volunteer work. Okay. Uh, number two, you really should do something quickly. So, in answer two, in answer two. It says, uh, you'd better, yes, you'd better, or you had better, you'd better, you'd better do something quickly. Quickly. Okay. Number three, I have to make a decision soon. See, we have have to. Very good. I've got to. Yes, I've got to. I've got to. So I don't write it. A complete sentence because you got it so I have to I've got to and I prefer I'd prefer means very good I'd rather I'd rather okay we don't need to write a complete sentence so you got it here now let's go to the grammar I want to tell you about I ought to you'd better I've got to and I'd rather what is advisable necessary and preferable right when you're advising people you use you'd better means you had better so you see here you'd better or you had better so we use you'd better for you really should uh-huh you're advising people you'd better do something quickly or I'd better not add anything to my schedule it's like using the negative form it's a little bit different from uh, a simple sentence, so you'd better, you'd better not. I ought to, you ought to, and you might want to. See? Ought to, or ought to. Might want to and had better. For something advisable. When you want to uh, tell people that something is necessary, 
You say, "I'm going to have to." I'm going to have to, or I'm gonna have to.、Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to do something about it. Going to have to, or gonna have to, or have got to, or you don't have to. I'm gonna have to do something about it. It's necessary, guys. I've got to decide by next week. Necessary. You don't have to spend time on this. Necessary. And what's preferable? Like I'd rather not stay in my current job. I would rather see. I'd rather means I would rather not stay in my current job. I prefer to do it. Should is more common than ought to and had better. See, we use more often should, and but you can use ought to and had better if you want to. Now let's do the pair work. Complete the conversations with problems and solutions.、Uh, let's pause the video, do this part, and then so come back. We'll do it together, right? Perfect. We、uh, we have a test tomorrow. See, we have a test tomorrow. So、uh, it's kind of like an advice. Ought to. You see that? I ought to tonight. But I'd rather. I prefer do something else. So when you have a test tomorrow, what is advisable? I have to study tonight. Or I ought to study tonight, but I'd rather play video games. An absolute Iranian. You know, I think you'd better. You had better. It's like advisable. You'd better、uh, study because. You will fail. Okay. Number two. I don't know what to do. I received an offer for a job. It looks really interesting, but it doesn't pay very well. I'm going to have to make up my mind. I'm going to have to. This is necessary. Uh huh. I'm gonna have to make up my mind if I want to stay in the job. Stay in the job. That's a hard decision to make. You might want to consult. Consult. Consult with somebody. Let me check if I if I、uh, if I wrote it correctly. Consult. Perfect. Yes. Number three. I need more exercise. I ought to make an effort to wake up soon every day. But it takes so much time. Or you can say, "I need more exercise. I ought to make an effort to go to the、uh, go to the gym, or go to gym every day, or wake up soon every day to go to the gym." But it takes so much time. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. Let's let's do it like this. Go to the gym. Uh huh. But you don't have to. Uh, go to the gym, but you ought to go for a walk.、Mm-hmm. Maybe your answer is correct. So I'm just、uh, trying to use a simple answer so you can get the meaning of、uh, this exercise. I have a friend who makes fun of me all the time, 
but I'd rather not to. Uh, I'd rather not not to no, not hang out with him. With him, I'd rather not hang out with him. That's not that's not good. I think you're going to have to hang out with people. Or talk to him. Hmm? Maybe talk to him. It's necessary. You need to talk to him. My sister hasn't applied to college. She's got to if she wants to. My sister hasn't applied to college. She has to go. She has, uh, sorry, she's got to if she wants to. She's, uh, she's got to apply ASAP. Sorry, I write it like this. ASAP means as soon as possible. If she wants to get to the college. Get to the college. She'd better decide soon because She's got to. She'd better decide soon because of the deadline. Maybe. She's got to. She's got to. What should I write here? She's got to make up her mind. Could be the answer okay I'm repeating again so maybe your answers are correct so I'm just using so simple answers uh, for you to help you to get the meaning of to get the the what to do with this exercise all right let's go let's go to speaking naturally reduction of verbs this part is quite important because uh, sometimes you need to reduce the verbs to make your speaking more smoothly and you know to make it faster you might want to try a new instructor you'd better study the driver's manual you're going to have to practice more you ought to take more lessons and you've got to pay attention so the verbs which are highlighted here can be pronounced differently, right? For example, want to is pronounced wanna, wanna. You might want to try a new instructor. You'd better, you can drop D and say you better. You'd better or you better. You better study the driver's manual. Going to have to. I told you you can say gonna, so have to. You're gonna have to practice more. Gonna have to. Gonna have to. You're gonna have to practice more. Ought to, it pronounced like ara. Ada. You ought make more lessons. Sorry, you ought to take more lessons. You ought to take more lessons. You have got to can be pronounced like gotta, gotta, or gotta. You gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention. I read him again. You might want to try a new instructor. You better study the driver's manual. You're gonna have to practice more. You ought to take more lessons. You gotta pay attention. Very good. So this is the end of this lesson. I will see you in lesson C. See you soon. Goodbye.